Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, Continental Z120 and Z129 engine and why their blocks are so bad to crack. The reason isn't really what most people say or most people think. You ready? Come on, let's get into it. This is a Continental Z129 block. You see right here, Z129A600. The Z120, of course, will say Z120. Basically, same block casting. There were, they, there were a couple different changes, like the 129 had the generator mount here. The 120 didn't have his. And the 129's got an oil, external oil filter, and the 120 was internal oil filter but still same basic block casting. Well, first thing is, they're notorious to crack up here. Yes, they're notorious to crack up here. Does it hurt anything? No. Because look, the sleeves stick above the deck of the block. The head gasket seals to the sleeve not to the deck of the block. I mean it seals to the deck of the block over here where your coolant passages and stuff are but around the actual sleeve it seals to the sleeve where it sticks up so a crack here means nothing. Now they're also notorious to crack right here which you can see there's a crack in this one. There's a crack in it right there. But, I have seen them split all the way down to the main bearing saddle. Now, once again, when they have a crack in them right there, now, down to the main bearings, I don't particularly like. But, when they're cracked right there like that one is, does that hurt anything? No. It don't. Of course, the thing is, the first thing everybody says, well, if they would run, they probably didn't run antifreeze in that tractor. That's why it cracked. No, that is not why those blocks crack. Let me show you. Okay, first thing, anybody's ever built any high-performance engines, there's a thing that you do with stock rods and blocks and stuff. Anywhere that there is a parting line in the casting or forging. You grind it down and polish it because if you don't it creates what are called stress risers and stress risers leads to stress cracks now look carefully right here let me put a little light on it what do you see right there see that parting line see that parting line See the parting line? They are cracking at the parting lines of the casting from stress. It is stress cracks. Because I want you to think about something. You know, they, they do this to car engines and stuff to prevent stress rises and stress cracks. These tractor engines are being used as the frame of the tractor. Think how much more stress they go through than a car engine does just being used high performance. Think about that for a minute. That block is not only under heavy duty use compared to car and truck engines, it's also serving as the frame of the tractor. Let that sink in for a minute, how much stress that block's under. It has nothing to do with not running antifreeze. Will not running antifreeze and one of them freeze and crack them? Sure it will. I'm sure it's cracked some of them. That's not from antifreeze. That is stress cracks. Plain and simple. But people, I don't know, they don't, they don't think about that. This is a Ferguson TO20 that I own. I've had this tractor uh, 10 years, a little more than 10 years. 
this engine is split between every cylinder on top and split all the way down to the main bearings. I've ran it for 10 years like that. And I'm talking about, I don't mean just scraping the driveway and stuff. You've seen what I do. I mean, I've used this tractor to plow. I've used this tractor to rake hay. I mean, until I had that 135, this was the tractor that I used day in and day out for all the smaller stuff like raking and plowing and disking and all that. Now look here. How much water do you see in the oil? You won't. The reason you won't see any water in the oil? Well, about sample. I put liquid glass in it. If you don't know what liquid glass is, um, there used to be something called the uh, K&W block seal. Although I prefer the bars leak liquid copper. Uh, it'll say right on it, liquid, ga liquid glass formula. Sodium silicate. Put some of that in there. It won't leak through the cracks. I promise you. Like I said, that tractor's been ran for over 10 years hard. Never the first problem. Never. Now, you can send the blocks off and have them furnace brazed or they heat the entire block up and then braze it while it's at a high temperature. But it's not necessary. You know, used to, people would drill a hole through both sides of the block and put a piece of all thread in there you know run a nut and washer down hold the block but here's the thing when that block heats up and expands what you don't think that all thread don't expand when it heats up too sure it does i if i had it here i've got another block that had that fixed done to it and guess what it split all the way down to the main bearings that didn't do anything for it so people can argue that fix, it don't fix them but i'm telling you either furnace braze it if you have to have that done, just put some liquid glass in it. They're fine. I mean, as far as it, <clears throat> as far as this engine right here, what am I going to do with it? I won't put it together, and it will be fine. And this tractor will get used. So, now that we've covered over all that, over what really makes them crack. You know, I hope it helps some of you. Uh, you know, I hope you've learned something that helps you not shy away from them just because they've got a crack in the block. It doesn't hurt anything, I promise you. So, be sure and hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. I'll be back with another one. See you.